The Bryn Mawr Jones Library is located at the centre of the campus, reflecting its position at the heart of the academic life of the University. It is named after Sir Bryn Mawr Jones, the University's Vice-Chancellor from 1956 to 1972. Most services, including the reception, the inquiry desk, the circulation desks, where you borrow and return books and other material, the self-service machines and the photocopying service are located on the ground floor. The library also provides access to a huge range of digital resources consisting of electronic journals, electronic books, databases and datasets. In addition to this, all the PCs in the library give unrestricted access to the internet and the entire building is equipped to support wireless access to the internet from your own laptop PC. The library provides both staffed and self-service photocopying facilities. Self-service photocopying requires you to purchase a card. The first card costs £1, which includes the cost of the first four copies. Thereafter, the card can be topped up. You will find five copiers capable of producing A4 and A3 copies. There is also a microfiche printing service. The ground floor is where you will find the short loan collection. It contains heavily used books available for loan for no more than 24 hours. You may book short loan items for a specific date and time so that you can plan your work in advance. Ask a member of the library staff for more information. There is a large collection of CDs, DVDs and videos. The library operates a controlled entry system. You must have your student or staff card with you to come into the library via the entry turnstiles. This applies even if you just want to come in for a teaching session in one of the teaching rooms on the ground floor of the library. If you forget your card, the staff at the reception desk will check your details and ask you to complete a forgotten card form. Remember that students are liable to a fine if they persistently forget their cards. The books and other printed materials are mainly kept on floors 2 to 7 of the tower block. The main exception to this is material relating to health and medicine, most of which can be found on the second floor of the front part of the building. Current issues of printed periodicals are kept on the first floor of the tower block. The library provides access to the electronic versions of thousands of traditional paper-based materials such as books, journals, indexes, government publications, encyclopedias, dictionaries and newspapers. The library provides a range of services to assist staff and students with disabilities. Lifts are fitted with an audible alarm which sounds when sensors detect anything in the way of the closing doors. A hearing loop system is available at the reception and circulation desks. At the entrance to the library there is a slope leading to the doors. The centre door revolves but wheelchair users can use the conventional swing doors on either side. The Miriam Hebron Centre, located on the ground floor of the library, provides a range of adaptive technology. We also provide a collection service from the shelves where required. All the printed, audio-visual and electronic material that is provided by the library can be identified through the library catalogue. This is an organised online list of all these resources. You can search the catalogue in many different ways from any of the terminals and PCs in the library. 
You can also access the catalogue over the web, so it is available wherever you have internet access, on campus, at home, in fact anywhere in the world. The booklet, Finding Books and Other Resources in the Library, tells you everything you need to know about locating books and other information resources. Copies are available in the library and at the website. We are here to help you find what you need. One of the best ways to get help is to ask a member of library staff. All members of staff wear a name badge, so it's easy to identify us. Always feel free to ask if you need help. The Study Advice Services are a unique facility for everyone to use at the University of Hull. A team of dedicated tutors provide free confidential study advice on a one-to-one -one basis. The web pages are also an important source of information. This is where the most detailed information about the library services and its information resources can be found. The web pages are regularly updated, so this is where you can find the most up-to-date information. To borrow a book or other item, take it to one of the circulation desks or to the self-service machines. All loans must be recorded on the computer and you should retain the receipt which is printed on completion of the transaction. Items may be returned either to the circulation desk or via the self-service machines. You can also return books to the book box which is just inside the entrance to the library. Quality services can only be achieved in partnership with you, our users. You can help us accomplish this by following some simple rules.